Hi everyone and welcome to my lesson. If you don't know me, my name is Helen and I'm head teacher here at Los Angeles Singer School. And today's lesson is for beginners and elementary level learners. If you happen to be a different level and you are not interested in this lesson, check please the schedule on our YouTube channel on the banner and you can see the date and the time when you have we have webinars and live streams for you all right so if you haven't subscribed to this youtube channel yet make sure to hit the subscribe button and also a bell icon so that you will be notified of all our upcoming webinars and new lessons okay and today we're going to practice uh constructions there is there are and also, we will learn new words on the topic my home. So we will practice how to name uh, rooms in the house. Uh, and also, we will learn items of furniture. Okay, let's go to our lesson. All right, so as I promised, we're going to practice there is and there are. So when do we need these constructions? So we use these constructions when we have somebody or something somewhere. So typically it is a place and we have some people or probably some things in this place. For example, here we have two vases, one vase with one rose and a vase with many roses. So if it's one object or one person or one thing somewhere, we say there is. The contraction of there is is theirs, theirs. So, and you have an example here, there is a rose in the vase. Or you also can say, there is a rose in the vase. There is a rose in the vase. If we have many objects or many people somewhere, you would, you would use there are. And there is no contraction for this uh, construction. So there are roses in the vase. There is a rose in the vase. There are roses in the vase. And also I encourage you to say the sentences with me out loud. It's much more beneficial for you if you really practice. So guys, however, I should notice that I've recently looked through different articles on this topic and uh, it's interesting that according to grammar, so you will read in all grammar books and it's grammatically more correct and accurate, uh, to say there is with singular nouns if we have only one object or one person and to use there are with plural nouns. However, in reality, in speaking, uh, you will very often hear native speakers say there is with plural nouns. It's interesting. So, and it's not a mistake. People really speak so. So you can say there is roses in the vase, so it's not a mistake. But as I said before, according to grammar, so if you're going to write, for example, an um, essay or you're going to take a test, make sure to use this rule. There is with singular, there are with plural. But if you're going to talk and to speak, you can say there is with plural. It's not a mistake, just for your information. All right, and today we're going to focus on correct uh, academic uh, English, so good English, accurate English, and we're going to practice this according to the rules. So if you say negatively, there isn't a rose in the vase. There isn't a rose in the vase. Plural, there aren't roses in the vase. 
there aren't roses in the vase. And if you have a question, is there a rose in the vase? Is there a rose in the vase? And if it's plural, are there roses? Oops. Are there roses in the vase? Are there roses in the vase? So this is how it works. Now we will practice a bit and I will ask you a few questions. And also make sure guys that you uh, react and you answer my questions in the chat box. So I encourage you to be active and take active part in our lesson. All right, so my questions to you. So and my first question to you is, um, let's talk about your neighborhood. Neighborhood, if you don't know, it's a place uh, near your home or near your apartment. It's uh, not far from where you live. So um, my question for you is, um, is there a subway station near where you live? Is there a subway station not far from where you live? Let me guys know. My question for you is, there is or there is a subway station not far from There is a subway station not far from where I live. What are your answers? So guys, you can type your answers in the chat box. All right, the next question that I have for you, is there a good supermarket on your street? Is there a supermarket on your street? My answer, there is a supermarket, not on my street exactly, but it's in my neighborhood. So there is a supermarket in my neighborhood. It's not far from where I live, so it takes me only five minutes or maybe eight minutes to get to the supermarket. Next question for you guys, is there a museum on your street. Is there a museum on your street? Let me guys know. Oh, I can see you typing so Kate, there is not a good supermarket on my street. Alex, there is not. Okay, Kate, make sure that there is uh, not a good supermarket on my street. Don't uh, miss articles. There is not a museum on my street. Great. No, there isn't. There is a landfill in my neighborhood. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. <laughs> All right, so let's move on. The next question for you guys is, um, is, um, oh, I didn't answer the question myself. So there isn't a museum on my street. All right, and I have some more questions. Are there any good clothes stores in your neighborhood where you can buy nice clothes for you? So are there any nice clothes stores in your neighborhood? My answer, the 
there aren't any really good my neighborhood i actually have to go there and it takes a long time so there aren't any really good clothes stores in my neighborhood so guys what about you there isn't okay so there is not a clothes store in my neighborhood okay all right thanks for your answers and i have some more questions for you are there any beautiful parks not far from where you live are there any beautiful parks where you can walk not far from where you live there are some parks but I cannot say that they are really beautiful and um, I don't think that I walk there a lot so there aren't any beautiful parks not far from where I live so guys let me know what about you So there is not a good clothes store in my neighborhood. Okay, there are beautiful parks. Mm, it's cool. No, there are no parks near my house. Great, yeah, so this is a nice construction. You can say there are not any parks or there are no parks. Okay, cool. All right, and one more question for you guys. Are there any good cafes? not far from where you live. Are there any good cafes where you can actually go and have dinner and or, or have lunch and you like to go there? Are there any good cafes in your neighborhood? So actually there are a few nice cafes in my neighborhood. So there are a few nice cafes in my neighborhood. What about you guys? No, there are not. There are not good cafes in my neighborhood. Okay, okay. All right, guys. Thank you for your answers. Let's move on. As I promised, we also are going to learn some vocabulary connected with the topic my home. And I will open the presentation for you. All right. So now you can see me and we get started. So the first, what we take a look at is a bathroom. Bathroom. And you can repeat after me if it's a new word to you. Bathroom. And here in this bathroom, there is a shower, mirror, sink, bathtub, and toilet. By the way, one more interesting thing. So normally, like it's naturally, we have many different objects here and it's natural we want to say there are a shower, a bathtub, a toilet, a sink and a mirror. So we want to use there are because we think that there are many things and so it's plural. It's not a mistake. I also read a few articles on that recently and I found out that it's uh, okay. Like, it's not considered to be a big mistake by most uh, linguists. But some argue on that. So, and like, I have a rule for you. So, it's not a big mistake if you say there are a shower, a mirror, a sink, and a bathtub. You can say it. It's normal, and people say it like that. But according to grammar, 
and dictionaries, if you have the first word and it's singular grammatically, it's singular form, for example, shower, and if you start with this one word in singular, even if you have a list of the words, you need to say there is. There is a shower, a bathtub, a toilet. It's more grammatically correct. However, again, I will say it one more time. If you say there are a shower, a bathtub, it's not going to sound like a terrible mistake. It's okay to say it like this. All right, so let's practice, guys. So what is this? What's this? So, oh, shower, it's a shower, shower. What's this? Bathtub, bathtub. And guys, if these are new words to you, uh, make sure you say them with me. Bathtub. What's this? Sink, sink. It's a sink. What's this? Mirror. Mirror. So we look at ourselves in a mirror. What's this? Toilet. Toilet. And actually, it's not a room where you go because usually it's called restroom or like all people say just bathroom even if it's only a toilet there but toilet it's this thing actually it's not a room toilet and now some practice for you so here we have a nice i think <laughs> a bathroom and uh, guys let me know in the chat box what is there in this bathroom Type your answers in the chat box. So what can you see in this bathroom? I'll give you some time to type your answers. So, and yeah, I see some answers and here we go. So you will see the answers on the screen as well. So there is a mirror, a sink, a shower, a bathtub, a toilet, and also that little thing on the floor, it's called mat, mat. All right, so there is a shower, a bathtub, a mat, a toilet, a sink, and a mirror in this bathroom. Let's move on to the next room. So we're going now to talk about bedrooms. So bedroom, it's where we sleep at night. I normally read books in my bedroom and I get ready for work in my bedroom. And here we have many things. We have curtains, curtains, lamp, lamp, chest of drawers, chest of drawers, chest of drawers, also it can be called dresser, chest of drawers or dresser, armchair, an armchair, there is an armchair, carpet on the floor, carpet, bed, there is a big bed in this bedroom. And also next to the bed on both sides, we have bedside tables, bedside table, bedside table. Also, it is called nightstand or night table. Okay, let's now practice the words. So what's this? 
It's a bed. Bed. What's this? What are these? These are curtains. Curtains. What's this? Bedside table. It's a bedside table. Or, as I said before, you can call it nightstand or night table. Nightstand. Uh, night table. What's this? It's a chest of drawers. Chest of drawers. Or you can call it a dresser. A dresser. What's this? It's an armchair. An armchair. What's this? So guys, who knows what this is? Let me know in the comments in the chat box. Yeah, I can see you're, you're typing your answers. Thank you guys. This nice bedroom bed. Okay, great. Um, so what's this? I can see we have here walk. Um, no, it's what you have here. It's, ah, oh, you mean Alex walk-in closet. It's almost walk-in closet. So this one is called wardrobe. Wardrobe closet. I'll just say a few words to explain this to you guys. So if it's like a little room or it's an actual room where you can walk in and you can put on clothes there, it's called closet. And very often it's called walk-in closet. Walk-in closet because you can walk into this room and get dressed. But if what we see here, it's wardrobe. It's just a piece of furniture. You cannot walk in wardrobe. Okay, we have here a nice bedroom, really spacious. It looks like, um, so it's very cozy to me. So, what is there in this bedroom? Let's practice. Type your answers in the chat box, guys. What do you see here? So there are many different things. So there are a sofa, Alex, make sure to use an article, a sofa, a carpet, carpet, pictures, a lamp. Yeah, and actually you can use there are, and then the list of many different things. It's not a mistake, but um, make sure that if it's an exam and you're going to write it down, make sure to use the is if first we have singular. Uh, noun. So, and I have answers. So, there is a bed, a lamp, a bedside table, or as I said before, you can call it nightstand, chest of drawers, or a dresser, a mirror, curtains, carpet. Oops, yeah. So, there is a bed, a carpet, a bedside table or a nightstand with a lamp on it. There is a dress chest of drawers or a dresser and there is a mirror above this chest of drawers. And there are curtains in this beautiful, nice and cozy bedroom. So I can see your answer is so okay. There is a bedside table, bed. Okay, great. Thanks, guys. Let's move on. And there is a living room. 
a living room or sometimes it can be called a family room it's where you sit together with all your family members or maybe you invite guests and your relatives come and you sit drink coffee talk watch tv probably all right so let's take a look at what we have in this living room there is a chandelier 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 floor lamp it's a lamp on the floor floor lamp sofa sofa and there are two sofas here in this living room and on the sofas you can see cushions cushions so these are little pillows because on a pillow we usually sleep and cushions we use for just relax on the sofa there is a coffee table coffee table it's not necessarily for coffee you can read a newspaper or a book or a magazine um, at this table but it's called coffee table an armchair armchair there are two armchairs and we already know this word there are curtains at the windows curtains curtains and also there is a nice and little balcony uh, it's small but i think it's really beautiful balcony all right now we practice um what's this it's a chandelier chandelier say it with me chandelier what's this a sofa i'm sure that everyone knows this word sofa what are they these are cushions cushions and what's this I mean, not an armchair, but this lamp on the floor. What do we call it? And it's a floor lamp. Floor lamp. What's this? It's a coffee table. Coffee table. Oh, and now a practice for you. Here we have this big living room. And what do you guys see in this living room? Could you let me know in the chat box? So just type your answers. Don't worry if you make mistakes. It's all right. Even I make mistakes. Pictures, coffee table, sofa. All right. So let's look at the answers. So there is a sofa cushions on the sofa blanket so this thing on the sofa it's called a blanket so you can wrap yourself up in a blanket and you will feel warm and cozy carpet chandelier you also can call it a lamp but if it's a really massive lamp hanging on the um, ceiling, it's chandelier, chandelier, TV. All right, so there is a sofa with a blanket and cushions on it. There is a carpet, chandelier, a TV. Also, there is a little coffee table, sofa, 
and there, there is a big window which I really like, I think it's a great touch and uh, there is a balcony also. All right, let me check your answers. Yeah, so thanks guys for being active. Kate, great, there is a sofa, a chandelier, a coffee table. Okay, thank you guys. So let's move on to the next room. So here we have a garden a garden and i think it's when you have a garden you're really happy because you can walk in your garden and you can enjoy fresh air when the weather is nice so it's super to have a garden or if you have a swimming pool it's really cool you can swim and chill out when the weather is really hot swimming pool and we also can see, see the word grass. So there is a grass, not a grass, sorry, there is grass, it's uncountable. The next one, we have a kitchen, kitchen. And in our kitchens, we cook and eat. And in this kitchen, we can see cooking hood a cooking hood but normally people just call it a fan but cooking hood is a word from a dictionary and it's okay so cooking hood or just a fan fridge fridge we put our food in the fridge to make it cool or cold cooker cooker or you also can call it stove it's where we fry or boil or stew food cooker or stove also we have cupboards or cabinets cupboard it's more a british word americans will say cabinet so it's actually one this thing one case one cabinet one cupboard if you have many you call them cupboards or cabinets cupboards or cabinets also we can see here a counter 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 it's this table where you cook and cut food and prepare dishes counter or kitchen counter also there is a microwave, microwave. It's actually called microwave oven, but a short form is microwave. You can warm up your dishes if they are cold and make them warm again. All right, let's practice these words. So guys, what do you see here? What's this? All right, and the answer is a stove or a cooker. Stove or cooker. What's this? What's this? It's a washing machine. Washing machine. Washing machine. What's this? It's a dishwasher, dishwasher, dishwasher. What's this? It's a cooking hood, cooking hood, or you can call it a fan. What's this? It's a fridge. Fridge. Actually, the full word is a refrigerator, but normally people call it fridge. What's this? It's a mic microwave, or you can call it microwave oven, or just a microwave. Microwave. What's this? It's a kitchen counter or just counter.
counter. What's this? It's a cupboard or a cabinet. Uh, so one is open and we have one, two, three, four. So we have four cupboards or four cabinets. All right, guys, now you have a kitchen and there are many different things there. And I'd like you to think about this kitchen. So guys, what do you see in this kitchen? Let me guys know in the chat box. Um, all right, so I will give you the answers and you can check yourself. And the answers are, so there is a sink. Actually, there are two sinks here. There is a microwave stove, or you also can call it a cooker, oven. And oven, it's uh, where we bake. Uh, for example, you can bake cakes in an oven or you can roast chicken, for example, or any types of meat in an oven. Counter. So a reminder, counter is where you cook dishes. Island. If you don't know, guys, this uh, table, with usually with a sink, um, and it's usually in the middle of the kitchen and people can cook there or even have meals there. It's called an island. So there is an island. So there are cupboards or cabinets. Lamp. There are two lamps. And there is a cooking hood or you also can call it a fan. So let's recap there is an island there are two sinks there is a counter a stove with an oven a microwave a cooking hood or a fan and there are two lamps and cabinets in this kitchen and i can see your answers guys thank you very much so there is a cooker, a sink, a microwave, and there are cabinets. Great. All right. Thank you. So we're going to move on. And I have a bonus practice for you. And I'll open it in a moment. All right, so guys, we have a little practice for you. And here, just a moment, sorry. And here you can see sentences. And in, you can see the sentences with the blanks. And I'd like you to try and to fill in the blanks together with me. So the first sentence is done for us. Our stove doesn't work. I don't know why. And the next sentence. Number two. Our family is not small. So we have a big... What is this? You can type your answers in the chat box for me. 
Great! Yeah, Kate, you are right. Exactly. So, our family is not small, so we have a big bridge. Number three. I want to buy... Hmm, they are so soft, sorry. So, I want to buy... And the answer is... I want to buy cushions. They are so soft. Number four. Help me with the... Hmm, I don't know how to turn it on. Help me with the... I don't know how to turn it on. So, and the answer is, help me with the... Washing machine. Help me with the washing machine. I don't know how to turn it on. Yeah, I, I see your answers. Yeah, they are correct. All right. So, number five. Put it in the... Put it in the... So, it's a dresser, or you also can call it chest of drawers. Put it in the dresser. This is easier. <laughs> or put it in the... Number six, I really like these, they're perfect for my bedroom. I really like these, and the answer is curtains. I really like these curtains, they're perfect for my bedroom. Number seven, how much is this nice? And the answer is chandelier. How much is this nice chandelier? Okay. I need a... I'm too busy to wash the dishes with my hands. I need a dishwasher. I need a dishwasher. I am too busy to wash the dishes. Number nine. Please wipe the... I'm going to cook. Please wipe the... Wipe, it means clean. Wipe the... Counter. Please wipe the counter. I'm gonna cook. And the last one, number 10. I need to look at the... Mirror. I need to look at the mirror. Can I use the bathroom? Thanks, guys, for your answers. You're doing really well. And just a moment. I will switch for the presentation again. Yeah, you can see me. That's great. So, guys, what I'd like you to do, of course, I cannot leave you with any homework. Ian, I have a challenge for you. Describe all rooms in your house, if you live in a private house or maybe you live in an apartment. So write down everything that you have in your rooms. 
So don't forget to use construction. There is and there are to practice them. And also a bonus, you can write what you like to do in each room and what's your favorite room. Make sure that you do this homework in the comments um, below this video because as we finish this webinar, you will be able to see a replay and there will be a video. And I encourage everyone to describe their houses and describe their bedrooms and kitchens and everything that you have in your house. And I'm really looking forward for your, uh, to your answers. All right, so this brings us to the end of our webinar. All right, so we're going to wrap up our lesson. Thank you so much for being with me today. Thank you for typing your answers in the chat box. It's really encouraging, guys. Please let me know that you're with me and type your answers. And again, if you haven't subscribed to this YouTube channel yet, make sure to do this if you'd like to. Hit the subscribe button and the bell icon and you will be notified of all our live streams and just new videos. And also, if you'd like to study at our Los Angeles English School, you can visit our website and check what we have for you. Thank you so much for being with me today. Have a wonderful day and bye!